Well, so hopefully I tighten down the ECU this time because the last time I put an ECU in, I didn't tighten down all the way and the car ran like poo poo. If y'all rem remember, but I'm pretty excited. Here we go. I don't know, but we got the harness out or the computer. Let's see this bad boy. I gotta cut the zip tie, but yeah, simple. Should be easy. Swap the other one in. The only thing is. I do need to pick up another battery for this car because the other one's an S13, S14. I only have one battery for two 240s, which I need to get another little thing. I don't know, but we got the harness out or the computer. Let's see this bad boy. I gotta cut the zip tie, but yeah, simple. Should be easy. Swap the other one in. The only thing is. I do need to pick up another battery for this car because the other one's an S13, S14. I only have one battery for two 240s, which I need to get another little thing. Oh, sick of sick of now. Got a number 10. We're going to swap her out for a 29. You know what I'm saying? 29 with a 10. You know what I'm saying? 2 plus 2 equals 19. You feel me, but you... That, 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 that's all, folks. I am waiting on parts for this car. I'm waiting for a water pump. Uh, what else? I have some coolant hoses for it that I'm going to replace, like I have some Mishimoto lines that I'm going to put in here, and then, uh, yeah, little by little, man, we're just, just here doing the dance, so, oh, I forgot I had an adapter for my other car, I did, so, I'll probably put this in another video, just because I want to do that water pump, I want to get this car running, and then, uh, I kind of want to drift it, I don't know why, I know when I want to drift everything, but, I kind of I wonder what it feels like to drift the stock stock 240. All right, I know I maybe wrapped this video up already, but uh, I kind of want to do some fancy shots. I don't know. I love that 13. How about my two gals? It's crazy because I've owned this one for like for a pretty decent amount of time, which is kind of cool. So she look good. Talk to me. Hey. What's the update? Uh, the update is that we did insert what we did here. Had a baby? No, what'd you do with the car? Oh, <laughs> ECU. We did ECU. 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 You better see everyone at, where are we going? In New Hampshire? Oh, Clutch King Cancer. Yeah. Uh, New Hampshire Speedway. Everyone That's go up. to New Hampshire Speedway. It'll be fun. I, yeah. Gonna be a lot of fun. I look so red compared to you. Yeah, it's like a tortilla. I you're know. Not, you're not that really. You're not that red. <laughs> I feel like it's the sun. It's a Are beautiful sure? sunset. Yeah, it's nice out right now. Look at the little zanks. Zanks. All right, my G's. I finally got my water pump in. I think I'm gonna try to tackle it. I probably won't finish it tonight because I've never done a water pump before. But um, yeah, we're just gonna see. See how it goes. I've literally never done this before, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad. Just cleared the, uh, the first clip of this video by accident. Oops, got the water pump out. Apparently I ran out of memory and I cleared the file. Oopsie daisy, but um, I don't know. I don't know how to tell. I don't know how to tell it when a water pump's bad. Like, how do I know that this one's bad? Because it kind of looks, it doesn't look that old. It doesn't. I don't know. It wasn't. Yeah, I don't know. It's actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. It'd be a pain in the butt if it wasn't. I don't. Oh, good catch. I don't know what else it could be. I mean, it could be my head gasket, but it doesn't. It doesn't have any oil in the coolant. But is that the only scenario for bad head gaskets? I don't know. Meanwhile, I got some new radiator. Uh, hoses. I have one. One's cut to ha fit a temperature. The gauge, Johnny. I forget what they're calling brain fart. But anyway, I'm gonna put the. I have an ISR. Thanks to my homie Benny Obscene. So I'm gonna put this bad boy in there. It's a little dirty. Just wash it out. I'm gonna go wash it out, and then we'll we'll resume as possible. All right, guys. Next, I just have to. Put the new one in, put gasket sealer on, gasket, more gasket sealer, 
and then we should be good to go. I'm gonna let it sit overnight. Making some pasta for tonight. I'm starving. I haven't eaten. I had like lunch, but it was like a tiny lunch. All right. New water pump. Whew. I'm going to let that dry for 24 hours and then come back tomorrow, probably to button. Every I might button everything. I might as well button up everything before the sun drops as much as I can, and then we'll get ready pretty much for a start tomorrow. Alrighty, day two on this car. I am just kind of just really focusing today just on getting things done. Water pumps in, belts on. I gotta put the fan shroud in, or the fan, clutch fan, fan shroud. I gotta wire in this fan. I don't know what fan this is, but there's like an additional fan. Like there's two fans on stock. I don't know, but I just saw whatever this fan is. I don't know which one that is, but um, that apparently the wiring was jacked up so but yeah um, I'm all over the place I'm doing like three videos at once but I don't know what part of it what uh, this one is a part of but last night's tattoo came out good um, still have some critiques I always will I always find things and see things and I'm like I just need to continue to get better and um, just want want to improve on certain aspects and find the things I need to improve on it's like the biggest thing so I'm just kind of really getting to work right now so um, yeah, just trying to bang this out so we can get driving it. I rewired that whatever this fan is, I think, I don't know what fan this is, honestly. I don't remember, but, um, either way, uh, this is all wired tight. I, uh, soldered them back together, because that's my newfound trade, and yeah, you know what I'm saying? And, gotta put the air, air drawn on. So, uh, everything's back together, and now I'm gonna put the battery in. It shouldn't leak. I hope it doesn't leak because I have to take everything back part of the event. I'm kind of expecting a leak, but let's uh, expect the worst. Hope for the best, right? That's what they say. I gotta grab this battery, throw it in there, and hopefully, just hopefully, this thing will work and not suck. I need to get a new battery for this car so bad. So I'm praying that this works. Oh. Oh! What the heck is that? Let's go see what's wrong. Not running. It's not on a limp mode, is it? <sighs> Let's see what we got. She's she's a clocking. I don't know if you can see it. It just looks like foamy in there. Granted, I just did I did just put water, like nothing, no cool, but that's like super duper foamy. So it doesn't look like I can't tell if there's oil in there. It's hard, so hard to tell. It's running like shit. I almost want to swap the ECU. But I could have blown the head gasket when it was, uh, when I was, when it was overheating. Very, very likely. Because it got a little hot. Shucks. Hmm. I don't know what to do. Probably a blown head gasket. I just, I want to really be able to tell. I hate that I can't really tell. It's frustrating. It's, it's driving like crap though. It's like blah, 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 and misfiring like crazy, so. <sighs> what are you gonna do? What do you guys think? Honestly, you guys are so much better than me with cars. It's, uh, it was overheating. Pro it got all the way up at one point. I let it cool down completely. Tried to get to the house. It got hot in here and there, but um, realistically, it didn't get, it didn't stay too, too hot. But I know that it just takes once to blow a head gasket. And especially with the old motor. Because this car has thousand you know a lot of miles it's not new hmm I don't know what to do hey zoom my name's Ryan but luckily that's why it one is too close 
<laughs> to none you feel me, my G. Well, what are you gonna do? I'm uh the question is what do we do with this car? Do we just probably let it sit for a minute, but still. Um once the S14 is out, we're gonna have to put it put this in the bad the bad boy garage and get her tuned up. Get a new K or maybe I don't really feel like going anything else. I like K's. I know my buddy has one, you know what I'm saying? Hit it on the low low. No, I'm just kidding. Um, then we gotta clean it up, paint the bay. We got a whole new project. Unless if I sell it. But I, it's the worst thing to do is sell a broken 240 because like, no one wants to pay for them. Like the amount that their people charge for them. And then when, especially when you have a broke one, it's like every excuse to like, well, you gotta do. I'm like, you know what? How about this? I'm gonna put a new motor in it. The fresh boy. Clean up the interior, clean up the engine bay. I'm just happy I have two of them. Or at least uh, I'm happy I have Zabebe. Zabebe. So, so yeah, I don't know. Got a lot of, lot of work to do all, to, all around. You know what I'm saying, Zank? Shop dog. The shop dog's just chilling. Zanky. Hi, Zanky. Oh, baby, won't you love me, Nessa? All right, I'm gonna clean up and get ready because I see this birthday party tonight, which is super exciting. Is this zoom in? Hey, there you go. Back on. Back on up. We're close to that done. That don't need that dude don't clean up and then get uh get back get back at it. We'll figure it out. No worries. <laughs> Hi guys. So um yeah I don't know. I don't know what it is. I have a couple more things I can try. I can swap the old ECU back in. I can try to tighten down the ECU. Maybe, maybe I did it twice because um, I do have tendencies to not tighten down ECUs. So I will. All right, there we go. Cleared out some memory. But um, yeah, so I'll, I'll get to it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, what my plan is, but I figured that um, I have nothing but time. I'm just chilling. I got a lot of work to do, and I'm just kind of plugging along here and there. And uh, super excited. I uh, got the new Clutch King of Cancer hats in. Uh, they're gonna be available at uh, Clutch King of Cancer August 24th and 25th in New Hampshire Speedway in collaboration with Northeast Strip Co. Ned Co. So, um, so I'm super excited. We got actually new slaps, new, we have a lot of new stuff, but I kinda wanna uh, save it all to show for the event. I tried a new hat. It's a different style hat that I've had before. Um, it's a five panel snapback, and this is a six panel snapback. I'm not gonna lie, I like the five panel snapbacks a lot better. These, they fit comfortable, like way more comfortable than these, because I have a weird shaped forehead, and I have like big bulge here, and everyone's like, what the heck happened to your head every time I take off my hat? This is a big red mark. But these, I don't know, feel comfortable. So I think I'm gonna switch all my snapbacks to these, these hats. Um, so I wanted to try them out with these. They came out good. I got a bunch of different ones. It's really cool. I like it though. The dope. Got a little bang bang on the back. Bang bang bang. And they fit better. They just fit my head better. So, um, yeah, side note. Anyway, I'll figure it out one day. And I am super thankful, super happy. Um, had a good conversation with a friend of mine today about kind of when you're, when you're, um, when you're creating so many in different areas, I know this is off topic, when you, but I just figure I'm talking about, I just figure talk about it. But when you're creating in so many different areas, it's really hard to um, to kind of go a traditional way with marketing, right? Because like if you're a clothing designer, you're a clothing designer. You can't just be, you know, clothing designers and market that, but then throw in some random groceries and you're now a distributor for it. plants. You know what I mean? So kind of like extreme, but because um, I do so many different things, it's re I'm having a difficult time with like identity and not necessarily identity for myself because I just like making stuff, but like how to market properly and, and what to post and um, yeah, I've just been kind of like going back and forth, we had a cool conversation today and you know, because I'm what, I, what it is, I'm building a new website that kind of hosts everything underneath it and I, I showed it to him because I wanted feedback and um, he is one of, one of my buddies that I kind of uh, I valid his opinion uh, heavy because he um, has experience in marketing, experience in in uh, many different avenues of life, and he's a little little older than me, so he has uh, a lot more wisdom than I do. And uh, 
Yeah, we're just good conversation, but I, sometimes we like, I feel like we get hung up on that. Well, I get hung up. I was just speaking from my pers perspective. I get hung up on where it's like, well, I just want to show, like if it's a clothing page, I just want to show clothing. Or if it's a car channel, I just want to show cars. And um, over the past couple years, I've kind of noticed that what makes me happy is just showing everything. And it's, at the end of the day, it's like, I'm just doing this because I like it. And I just want to keep creating. And although every year that goes by, I gain a little bit more clarity. Um, at the same time, adding more stuff gets me confused. So just working through some ideas and just talking it out, honestly, because um, I kind of left the conversation not knowing what I should do. But towards the end of the day, I was like, you know what? I was like, I'm just gonna get, I feel like it all works itself out eventually. So yeah, don't know why I brought it up, honestly, guys. Just, just, uh, just rambling here now. But we're good. We're good. Get a good space. I think I'm on a cool little. Cool little pattern. Two videos a week seems to be the sweet spot. I'm able to do this and get all my work done too. Cause like I get this done Monday, Tuesday, and then or sometimes Tuesday, Wednesday. But then the rest of the week I get all my other work done. And then weekend I get work done while filming. And it seems to be uh, seems to be the special sauce. So not every day like I used to, but hey now we're trying and we're doing things. So we have some cool stuff coming out. Some really really cool stuff like the clutching cancer events that we do it's always a good time literally always a good time up there like i love hanging out with those guys so yeah what else we got no no i love you guys happy freaking sunday wednesday What's today wednesday yeah tomorrow's wednesday happy wednesday guys i love you so much holla at your boy son sam 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 so, yeah, let me know what you think was wrong with the car. Make sure you like this video, please. Because, uh, you know what I'm saying? Trying to make it in life. You know what I'm saying? Alright, cool. See ya. I love you guys. I'll let you boys. Meow. Hello? Alright, there we go. Cleared out some memory. But, um, yeah, so I'll, I'll get to it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do, what my plan is, but I figured that, um, I have nothing but time. I'm just chilling. I got a lot of work to do, and I'm just kind of plugging along here and there, and, uh, super excited. I uh, got the new Clutch King of Cancer hats in. Uh, they're gonna be available at uh, Clutch King of Cancer August 24th and 25th New Hampshire Speedway in collaboration with Northeast Drip Co. Ned Co. So, um, so I'm super excited. We got actually new slaps, new, we have a lot of new stuff, but I kinda wanna uh, save it all to show for the event. I tried a new hat. It's a different style hat that I've had before. Um, it's a five panel snapback, and this is a six panel snapback. I'm not gonna lie, I like the five panel snapbacks a lot better. These, they fit comfortable, like way more comfortable than these, because I have a weird shaped forehead, and I have like a big bulge here, and everyone's like, what the heck happened to your head every time I take off my hat? This is a big red mark. But these, I don't know, feel comfortable. So I think I'm gonna switch all my snapbacks to these, these hats. Um, so I wanted to try them out with these. They came out good. I got a bunch of different ones. It's really cool. I like it though. The dope. Got a little bang bang on the back. Bang bang bang. And they fit better. They just fit my head better. So, um, yeah, side note. Anyway, I'll figure it out one day. And I am super thankful, super happy. Um, had a good conversation with a friend of mine today about kind of when you're, when you're, um, when you're creating so many in different areas, I know this is off topic, when you're, but I just figure I'm talking, I just figure talk about it. But when you're creating in so many different areas, it's really hard to, um, to kind of go a traditional way with marketing, right? Because like if you're a clothing designer, you're a clothing designer. You can't just be, you know, clothing designers and market that, but then throw in some random groceries and you're now a distributor for it. plants. You know what I mean? So kind of like extreme, but. Um, cause I do so many different things, it's re I'm having a difficult time with like identity and not necessarily identity for myself cause I just like making stuff, but like how to market properly and, and what to post and um, yeah, I've just been kind of like going back and forth, we had a cool conversation today and you know, we, we, cause I'm, what, I, what it is, I'm building a new website that kind of hosts everything underneath it and I, I showed it to him cause I wanted feedback and um, he is one of, one of my buddies that I kind of uh, I valid his opinion uh, heavy because he um, has 
experience and marketing experience in in uh, many different avenues of life and he's a little little older than me so he has uh, a lot more wisdom than I do and uh, yeah we're just good conversation but I, sometimes we like I feel like we get hung up on that well I get hung up I was just speaking from my pers perspective I get hung up on where it's like I just want to show like if it's a clothing page I just want to show clothing or if it's a car channel I just want to show cars and um, over the past couple of years I've kind of noticed that what makes me happy is just showing everything and at the, at the end of the day it's like I'm just doing this because I like it and I just want to keep creating and although every year that goes by I gain a little bit more clarity um, at the same time adding more stuff gets me confused so just working through some ideas and just talking it out honestly because um, kind of left the conversation not knowing what I should do but towards the end of the day I was like you know what I was like I'm just gonna get, I feel like it all works itself out eventually so yeah don't know why I brought it up honestly guys just just uh just rambling here now but we're good we're gonna get a good space I think I'm on a cool little cool little pattern two videos a week seems to be the sweet spot I'm able to do this and get all my work done too because like I get this done Monday Tuesday and then, or sometimes Tuesday, Wednesday, but then the rest of the week, I get all my other work done. And then weekend, I get work done while filming. And it seems to be, uh, seems to be the special sauce. So not every day like I used to, but hey now, we're trying and we're doing things. There's some cool stuff coming out. Some really, really cool stuff. Like the clutching cancer events that we do. It's always a good time literally always a good time up there like i love hanging out with those guys so love you guys happy freaking sunday wednesday What's today wednesday yeah tomorrow's wednesday happy wednesday guys i love you so much holla at your boy son sam 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 so yeah let me know what you think was wrong with the car make sure you like this video please because uh you know what i'm saying trying to make it in life you know what i'm saying all right cool holla at your boys hey, hello